all right, just going to do a video about how the law of causality and the law of cause and effect, as it's sometimes called, refutes atheism and demolishes atheism. Okay. Now, first of all, what is the law of cause and effect? Well, the law of cause and effect goes as follows. Uh, it says on Wikipedia, causality, also referred to as causation or cause and effect, is influenced by which one event, process, state, or object, a cause, contributes to the production of another event, process, state, or object, an effect, where the cause is partly responsible for the effect and the effect is partly dependent on the cause. Okay, what does this mean? Well, anything, anything finite has a cause. Anything physical and finite, it has a cause. Thus, the first cause would have had to be infinite or else it would have to have a cause itself. What does this mean? Everything's proof of God, basically. Anything finite proves the infinite. You know, anything finite proves the infinite or else the cause, the infinite cause that created it would have to have a cause itself and you have this never-ending chain of causes. You know, which, you know, atheism is destroyed by that because the first cause has to be eternal and self-existing and self-generating or else it would need to cause itself, basically. Anything finite is proof of the infinite. Anything finite is proof of a creator, an infinite creator. Or even if you don't believe in a, a physical, you know, God, you could just say, you know, a creative, you know, like an intelligent, you know, mind that created everything. I'll put it that way. That's simple because some people say well the universe created it or whatever like that yeah anything finite proves the infinite anything finite proves the intelligent creation the intelligent design creation of the world and that destroys atheism and by the way i'm a former atheist and atheists can say what they want about that they they try to deny i was ever a former atheist they'll say well you just didn't, under, didn't understand atheism which is kind of funny because i thought atheism was not a religion i thought it's just simply a non-belief in gods but somehow i can misunderstand atheism weird uh, because supposedly it's just not believing, not believing in gods. Uh, anyway, I could say a whole lot on that, but yeah, I'm a former atheist and God saved me out of the sci-fi, uh, communist religion of atheism. And all praise is him is, you know, glory to him. All glory goes to him for that. I'll put it that way. But yeah, don't be deceived by atheism. Uh, Psalm 14, one and Psalm 53 verse one says that the fool says in his heart, there is no God. And that perfectly describes atheism. Also, atheism is further described in Romans chapter one, verse 18 down to verse 25. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.